Lots of effort. So I'm here at the People Centered Internet in Stanford, and I'm talking to Lucy Abraham. She's from South Africa. What do you do there? I'm the director of the Link Center. The Link Center does research in digital transformation, uh, policy aspects, regulatory aspects, e-services, e-government, anything that helps us better understand digital transformation. How did you end up at the People Centered Internet Conference here? Um, Nagy invited me. Uh, that's the the short answer. The short answer. Yeah. yeah. But why did you want to? Go, I mean, is this really up your alley? What was discussed here? How to connect all these different systems? How to get to the internet to be more uh, more useful for the medical world? Well, our uh, our focus at the Link Center is very much on public interest research. That's really how we define ourselves. Uh, we're concerned about how policy and regulation, in particular, can promote. Uh, uh, the public interest mm -hmm. uh, in the digital economy, in the digital era, uh, particularly in the early years, early decades of the 21st century, yeah. when uh, big, big changes, big changes, big, big changes, changes. Yeah. Big yeah, 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 yeah. I was there when it, uh, I was at the year there. I was an observer for the European Community when uh, Mandela was elected. And I go, how is this country changed? Now, tell me about healthcare in uh, South Africa. How have things changed there in the last 10 years? Well, there, there is access to health care for the vast majority of citizens, but there are huge challenges in the quality of health care. Mm -hmm. And uh, these challenges are not easy to resolve. No. Um, it's not just about money. It's about money. It's about capacity. It's about institutions. It's about new forms of value. You know, yeah, there is a shortage for everything. But, I mean, big strides have been made because they have, they have had access. So the next big challenge is how does the internet support uh, health, population health, um, not only in the big cities where the clinics have relatively more resources, but all over in the contiguous villages of Bushback Ridge and uh, the northern parts of the country. Yeah. So if I know about internet, about South Africa, it's a very developed country. In Africa, it's 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 fantastic. But what percentage have have a smartphone and has access to internet on a regular basis, so you can integrate them to the uh, internet health? Well. Uh, Approximately 27 to 30 percent of uh, the population have internet access, but uh, too little of that is broadband access. Probably between 15 and 20 percent, and even if that, if, if there's broadband access, but what is the proportion of usage? Yeah. Uh, because the usage isn't as affordable as it could be. Uh, it's more expensive a lot of times than here in America or in Europe, mm -hmm. huh? Um, it is very expensive. Broadband is very expensive. But smartphone access and 3G. Really, in relation to household incomes, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think the uh, smartphone access is even um, uh, uh, less available. But I think that will become that will change as the second-hand smartphone market develops. Okay. What did you think of the outcome here of all the ideas which were generated? How did you how did you like the the people centered conference? Well, it's a beginning, and like with all beginnings, there's a little bit of um, you know, disconnectedness which has to be worked through, and I think we we're working through that. You mean uh, about uh, the ideas here in California and America compared to the real world in Africa and specifically South Africa? Well, I mean that, but I think not only Africa and South Africa, but just. You know, we're, we're talking about a, a matter of global importance. Uh, people-centered internet cannot be a people-centered internet in one country or few countries. No. Um, and uh, so that's a, a, a big um, objective to take on. Um, but I, I was relatively convinced that the, the people participating uh, have the capacity to take it on. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>